these four months. I'm Andy, and I'm George, and also back to the windmill for courses. Ramage Inc., which is basically damage with a rope or rampage without a pub. But most importantly, it's Inc., yes, which gives it a big boss corporation level vibe, yes, which be means by definition that this band is very important and they otherwise wouldn't be. Yeah. We have no idea who this band is, no. Um, but we, we know it was requested by Tom. Tom. Tom is cool. Tom. Tom. You know, the one who was behind the Toms? Yes, that guy. He has a label. And it has this band, yes. And the label is Layered Reality Productions, and the song is Nothing to Fear, which I don't agree with. I have plenty of things to fear. I never thought about that. Layered Reality. Yeah, you have multiple realities and they're stacked in layers. Or no, you yeah. have only one reality and it's formed in layers. Yes, that's it. The layers of the atmosphere. Well, that's one way of looking at it. You could also see other layers of onions and ogres. Ogres are like onions! End of story! Okay, so now I produced some damage ink to his brain, so now we're gonna listen to Ramage Ink. Are you ready? No! I did not get to read the power. Me neither. It was one of the wise, though. Bye. Bye. 
Well, they certainly don't beat around the bush with a music or with a topic. Right. Or whatever's left of bushes, if we are to, you know, think about the topic. Okay. Are we going to start with music? Yes. Music is good. Yes, music is very good. It doesn't beat around the bush or what's left of it. It's high energy. It's pumpy. It's a very cool alternation of uh, more open harmonies and the dynamic noodly stuff. And blast beats. And blast beats, yeah. So I like how when the guitars get dynamic, the drums get dynamic mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, we've had two, I think, drum transitions that were kind of space it out and then uh, do a bunch of stuff with just the drums. Yeah. And when I say a bunch of stuff, I say a bunch of stuff because I'm not educated enough to tell you what the stuff was. But it was cool. Um, vocals are pretty strong. Vocal, melty, yeah. melty and kind of gritty. Yeah. Um, the screams, because there's also screams there, kind of raw and one-sided. And then I think that would get a bit monotone, but then the way you get the cleans in, it contrasts it's enough to keep it interesting. And you also get a bit of the scream energy going into the cleans mm -hmm. because they're still gritty and in many ways in the same tone and with the same energy, mm -hmm. but they bring a melody in. Mm -hmm. So... I wouldn't say this is the most versatile vocalist, but he definitely knows how to make use of his abilities in an interesting way yes. and keep the music mm -hmm. uh, interesting for the listener. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as it progresses. And the, the mix was also surprisingly high quality because yeah. from the stuff that I've heard before from this band, it's good music, but usually crap production because, mm -hmm. you know, money. Yeah, um, because of all those filthy capitalists who are wrecking the environment, apparently. So let's talk about that. Um, it's... Heavy, it's a bit much. Yeah, it's a bit much when it's like, do things now. You, you go do things now, right? And I'm not convinced that we're necessarily the last generations. Stuff sucks out there, and um, I don't know how to fix it. And probably neither do you. Okay, so um, I don't know if I'm gonna annoy people with this because I don't know exactly where it's gonna go. But a lot of times when very highly discussed topics show up, I kind of tend to gloss over them and maybe give a low, low resolution opinion and then not, mm -hmm. not move into any of my actual thoughts because someone might be pissed off. Someone's going to be pissed off anyway, so I'm okay. just going to go at it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've reached the point where I don't like seeing this message in music anymore. I don't like seeing it in music. Now, that doesn't mean it's not an important message, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't say it. And it doesn't even mean you shouldn't say it for music. But it's a bit much. <laughs> it is a bit much, and I think it defeats the point of music a bit, because a lot of the times music, at least for me, is where I go to take some distance from things like this. Yeah. Now, I know you can't take distance forever, and I don't think that's the point, but also buried in it down to your neck mm -hmm. might put you in a place that's not exactly the best for you to actually be able to approach it in a healthy manner. Yeah. Now, I'm with you so far. Yeah. Now, that's my personal opinion on why I don't like seeing this in music. That doesn't mean it shouldn't be in music. It's, it's something like... Nobody has ever changed in the history of changing by being told by someone else that they have to change. Yeah. Now, of course, bands are free to talk about this if they want. Yes. So I don't have a problem with the fact that it's in, that it was in this video. And I actually appreciate the way the message was delivered. Yeah. Because it didn't say, do this. Yeah. It was more like a challenge. And when something's presented as a challenge, it makes a lot more sense to me because it involves you rather than trying to control you. Yeah. So it essentially tells you, this is what we see. We're showing you this. What response are you going to have to? It? Yeah. 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 So it's posed more like a question than an obligation. Yeah. And if I were to give my honest thoughts about what should be done, I would say regardless of whether you're on the side of the conversation where you believe climate change is a real issue and maybe even an imminent catastrophe and everything needs to be solved urgently or whether you're on the side where you think it's a distant dream and you're not going to get to see it and probably the next 10 generation won't or maybe you don't even think it's real. Regardless of what you think, don't villainize the person who disagrees with you and don't lie. 
Yeah. And if we get to talk to each other and understand each other, maybe we're going to figure out what to do about this. Yeah. I'm actually going to put my stance forward. I'm on the fence on it. I think it's, I think it's an imminent threat. I think it's sometimes a bit overplayed and I think we're going about it the wrong way. Yeah. Because we've been yelling at politicians for decades. They're not going to change. That's it. My, uh, I think, I think mo- the solution can lie more like, more likely in the field of science. And, and in our actually connecting based on this. Yeah. And this is actually something I really like about having conversations with people is if I in- encounter someone who disagrees with me on something important, mm-hmm. I used to like instantly, the moment that happens, have a label on this person like, okay, this guy's a climate change denier. Fuck them. Yeah, yeah. We need there it. are a lot of climate change deniers out there. Mm-hmm. Fuck them isn't gonna solve the problem. Yeah. In fact, the, I think the more, I think the more you, um, villainize them and the more you're hostile towards them, the more likely they are to stick to their guns. Mm-hmm. And I think the same thing happens to if you're not a climate change denier and you're faced with too many of them not treating you right. So I will never, I will never believe that the fact that something is important gives you the right to be self-righteous about it. Yeah. Quite the contrary. The more important it is, the, the more, more open to hearing and discussing and nuanced you should be. And that doesn't mean you should be um easily swayed. Easily swayed and it most certainly doesn't mean you should be a pushover. But it means you should be engaged rather than tyrannical. Yeah. And controlling. Yeah. And I like the nothing to fear message because it doesn't approach, doesn't approach this with a, we're all gonna die attitude. Yeah. It approaches it with let's do something about it. And I think that's part of what got me pumped up to actually say what I think. Yeah. So. Massive respect, actually. Yeah. A- as someone who doesn't like seeing this in music, massive respect for the way it was done. Yeah. Kind of. All right. Well, we'll probably pissed off some people, but you know. That happens when you speak your mind. So make of that yeah. what you will, and uh, that's that's what we think. And if you th- if you think we're wrong, tell us why instead of telling us we're pieces of shit, which we are, but you don't have to tell us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can tell us, but just don't limit it at that. Yeah, like give us some insight. Yes, I, I'd want to know what kind of shit. You know how it yeah. smells. Yeah, uh, <laughs> texture. Um, how old it is. What animal it came out of. Give me some details. I want to know your thoughts. <laughs> I can't believe what you just said. Are we done here? Oh, thank God, yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay. <laughs> and we'd love to see you back at the window very soon. Carsey out.